What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you like what you see here today, don't forget to subscribe at some point during this video. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, please excuse the camera shaking a little bit. I do have my tripod outside today. It's a beautiful day. Wind's a little higher than I would like, but I figured, let's shoot a video outside. And what are we talking about today? My scent of the day actually sparked this video idea. I do have all three, so I figured let's just let's find out which DR Ohm Sport is the right one for you. Stay tuned. So the Orom Sport. So I'll put all three of those right here so you can take a look at those bottles. So I do have them in three different sizes. The 2008 formulation, which I do have in a 50 ml, is actually almost a perfect sporty scent to be completely honest with you. The ginger and the alamy and the citruses in this one blend for such a, not really a unique, but a beautiful high quality, especially for a designer warm weather fragrance to be completely honest it, it really does smell good it's a shame that they discontinued that formulation it's getting a little bit harder to find now next over to it in 100 ml bottle size is actually the 2012 formulation that ran till uh, mid 2016 i believe uh, now this one does have the note of iris and the citruses in this is a heavy citron note um, it is a lighter scent but it does stay true to that DR Ohm DNA by having that lipsticky iris. And it is a much lighter scent than the previous formulation from 2000, the 2008 formula. Um, not necessarily the most versatile, but in my opinion, the most beautiful. And then we have the 2017 formulation, which is in the 4.2 ounce bottle size. That is the most recent formula that's still going to this day. Uh, even with the new formulations in the DR Ohm line, that formula is still holding strong. This one adds a blood orange and heightens up the sandalwood quite a bit for a more citrusy take. Now, like I said, that's actually my scent of the day today. So I figured we'd have a discussion and see, let's go on a grading system. If you had to choose one, which one's the one to really go after? So as far as the scent category, uh, they're all three different scents in a, because they have a different note breakdown and they cater to different things. So really and truly, I love the way all three of them smell, hence the reason I decided to get all three of them. Now, as far as versatility, what it comes down to is not everybody's going to like Iris and not everybody's going to be a fan of that sharp blood orange note. So to be honest with you, in the versatility category, one point's going to go to the 2008 formula because in my opinion, this is the most versatile. This is the one that can be dressed up, dressed down in the warmer weather. You can go as far as wearing a suit with this one because this one has a class and elegance to it that the others necessarily don't have. With exception to the 2012 because it has that iris note but at the same time the iris note isn't for everyone not everybody likes that iris note so for the first point for versatility 2008 formula next we're going to talk about the compliment factor so what's really going to be more enjoyable for those around you to be honest with you in my experience they don't really garner a lot of attention but there's one in particular that's a little bit louder than the rest and seems to get a bit more noticeable as the day goes on because it's got a pretty good strength to it and people seem to enjoy the way it smells and that's going to be the 2017 formulation of Dior Ohm Sport. This one's got the compliment factor working for it as compared to the other two. This one's more pleasant, more modernized and everybody seems to really say something about it uh, when I wear it. I mean it's not everybody that I walk by but my wife, seems, every time I wear this one she seems to say something about this one. She hasn't said a word about the other two. She actually doesn't really like the 2012, to be completely honest with you, but she does like the 2008. But this is the one that always garners some kind of compliment, whether it's friend, family, or mainly my wife. She's usually my biggest critic. When it comes to compliment factor, it's the 2017 formula, point in its favor. Now, when it comes down to the uniqueness, there's really a clear winner in this situation because the other two are citrus-based, woody fragrances whereas the 2012 formula has the note of iris with a heavy citron note uh, this is definitely going to get the uniqueness factor hands down as soon as i mentioned that category i'm sure you knew it was going to be the 2012 formula because this stays true to the dr ohm line but as far as dr ohm sports are concerned it's the only one with iris 
Uh, so absolutely, when it comes to uniqueness, the Orm 2000, the Orm Sport 2012 takes the cake. Now, for the last category, it's actually going to go down to performance. So the one that's really lacking in this department is going to be the 2012 formula. It's not a strong performer by any means. It's a five to six hour fragrance for me, which for a hot weather fragrance is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a strong projector. It's more of a for you scent, I find. Somebody's really got to get into your personal space to really smell you after that first hour. But if you want to start cracking the seven and eight hour mark, you really have to look at both the 2008 and the 2017 formulas. These are both very strong performers with the 2017 actually edging it out slightly because I find it takes longer for this to kill over on my skin than the 2008. So you're actually gonna get a half a point for the split here. So overall, it comes down to a tie between the 2017 formula and the 2008 formula. So it really comes down to which one do you like the most. If we're gonna sit here and go off of my opinion for the tiebreaker, if I'm being honest, the 2008 formula was actually the height of this line. I do love the 2017, I really do. It's my scent of the day. It's the one I wear the most. Sadly, the 2008 is the one I have the smallest bottle of, but Overall, it doesn't have a uniqueness to it, neither really do, but when it comes to compliment factor, performance, and versatility, the 2008 formula is gonna be the one that takes the cake, and in my personal opinion, if my opinion is being the tiebreaker, the 2008 is absolutely worth looking at. If you don't wanna go searching, then the 2017 will absolutely do you just fine. So what do you guys think? Do you totally agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? I know there's a lot of fans of the 2012 formula. Hell, I love the 2012 formula as well because I love the Note of Iris. But believe it or not, when it comes to this line, it's actually my least favorite of the group. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Like I said, do you agree with my assessment? Do you totally disagree? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any three of the formulas from the Dior Home Sport line, give them a spray now. Really good chance that you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.